Kingston Technical's fairy tale season will have another chapter after Mona High was removed from the final of the ISO Walker Cup due to the use of two ineligible players in their semi final game last Friday. More in this report. Kingston Technical have found themselves on the right side of ISA's eligibility rules. More than 30 years after they themselves breached those rules and were thrown out of the 1991 Walker Cup final. This time, KT have been given the opportunity to win a third Walker Cup title after Mona used two ineligible players in their semi-final victory on Friday. Head coach Sean Charlton says he will use this new lease on life as a teaching moment for his players. I believe that, thanks to Reason being, this is showing the young men at Pinson Technical that with character, they can be successful no matter how often times they fall. They can get up, brush off, and aim for success. And what we plan to bring forward is for them to show their character, genuine character. Charlton says information surrounding the ineligible players was known prior to last Friday's game. It has been very straightforward with sharing information. And every game, that game by game, they would send regular updates to the coaches group. So I was aware, based on the fact that I... I am very much in tune in the group and I take key notes when it's us an information. TVJ Sports understands that coach of Mona High, Craig Butler, had removed himself from the coach's WhatsApp group. Calls to Butler's phone for a comment went unanswered. ISA President Keith Wellington declined to comment on the ruling reverting to a release sent early on Tuesday. It's understood that the two players were shown red cards in their final game in the Manning Cup on December 17, which based on ISA's rule, would mean they were suspended for the Walker Cup game. Kingston Technical will now meet defending champion St. Catherine Hine, the decider. The final of the Walker Cup has also been moved to Saturday at 1 p.m., with the Manning Cup final set to kick off at 3.15 at the Stadium Eastfield. Renardo Brown for TVJ Sports.